everyone, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial um, and hair and clothing and this is going to be my Halloween tutorial for Catherine Pierce from the Vampire Diaries. If any of you guys watch it, you'll know that um, Elena and Catherine are played by the same actress, Mina Dobrev, but their makeup is very different. Um, one is a real, really like natural look and, and Catherine, who I'm doing. Um, she has a very dark look, and she's her, the vampire one. So, we're going to get started. Um, I already did my one eye, so it looks like this. It's very dark. Um, wish the lighting was better. I can't really see any better. Yeah, it's just a very dark look, and it's like browns and a really dark crease. So, yeah. Um, okay. First, you're going to want to prime your eye. I'm using Urban Decay Primer Potion in Sin. It goes all over your lid. Sorry if I'm looking that way, my mirror is this way. So. Okay. <laughs> and for this look, I'm going to be using the Naked Palette. Um, you can use any browns and black eyeshadows. It doesn't have to be the Naked Palette. But um, I'm just going to show you guys which ones I'm using. First, I'm going to um, put this color, Naked, there on my entire lid. So, then I'm going to take the next color, which is right next to it. This is Sin. So like a champagne, like that, sparkly, nudie champagne color. I'm going to take that and put that all over my lid. I just use the Naked as a kind of like a base color. I'm just using a flat shader brush. This one's from Urban Decay. I came with my Naked palette. Yep. Next, I'm going to take a really tiny crease brush. And this one is from um, e.l.f. and it's their professional eye crease brush and this was a dollar. And then I'm going to take the color Hustle which is a brown with a little bit of a red undertone, this one right here. And I'm going to put that in my crease um, three quarters of the way through and then on my bottom lid about halfway through. So it's going to look like that, and you're going to want to blend that out. I'm going to be using this blending eye brush, um, number 29 from Sephora. I'm just going to blend that lightly. Not too much because you want to keep a dark color. Most blending is going to be done where the, where the um, color hits the um, highlight color, which will be there eventually. Now my eye looks all messed up. We're going to take that same tiny crease brush and use the next color, which is going to be Dark Horse, and it's a little darker brown, um, really dark chocolate brown color with a little bit of shimmer in it. And we're going to use that on the outer corner and bring it slightly into the crease. And I'm going to blend it out a bit. Actually, the lighting's not too awful, so. I just blended it very, very lightly. Just like this. And then I'm going to take the same small crease brush and I'm going to take a little bit of this color Creep. And it is a dark, it's a black with some um, shimmer in it, a little bit of shimmer in it. We're going to do that only in the outer V, bringing it slightly into the lid and then slightly into the crease, but not too much. I'm just going to dab it lightly like I'm doing. Oh, not like that. I'm 
going to look something like that. And you're going to blend it in. Underneath my eye, you do not want to do that. You're gonna look awful. So, I'm gonna add a little bit more of hustle just with my um, blending brush lightly, and then a little bit of dark pores in that same area. It's not as dark as my other eye, so, and then take more creep and blend that all out. So something like this. Just hold it like you can see my eye. That. Okay, now I'm gonna take this angled small brush. I'm gonna use that to use kind of like an eyeliner brush and I'm gonna only bring it in like to the front of my pupil right here. Something like that. Can I see that eye? There it is. Then I'm gonna take my blending brush again. I'm gonna take this um, ivory color right here, and it's called Virgin. It's not a white, it's like a shimmery ivory color, so it's a little bit off white. I'm gonna take that and put that in my inner corner and bring that through the eyeshadow. Jesus, it's going to look something like that, just like this, and then we're going to take a black eyeliner, a black eyeliner do, um, I'm using this black Ulta Automatic Eyeliner, I would go with any black or really dark brown, I'm just going to line the upper lash line, so that's what it's going to look like, it looks very dark, but we're going to smudge it out, so you're going to use a smudger, this and this is just on the back of one of my eyeliners okay, so I'm gonna smudge it out a bit so now it's pretty even okay so then you're gonna want to curl your eyelashes and this is when you decide if you want to use false eyelashes or not for this, I'm not going to um, because I'm going to work tonight and I don't want to wear false eyelashes, especially since I'm wearing such a dramatic look already and I don't want to redo my makeup. So, but I'll show you the ones I'm going to use on Halloween. This will be my Halloween look. I'm using these accent lashes. They only go in the outer corner and they are by Ardell. I think they were like three bucks at Walgreens, CBS, something like that. Just like this. And they're um, in the number 305, which are the more dramatic ones. So you can add them on or um, just do them as I'm doing and not skip that step. Two mascaras. The first one is by Clinique, and it's Lash Doubling Mascara. So it's just like this. And for the bottom lashes, you only want to do it in the outer corner. Look like that. And then I'm going to take my Aussie's Volume Express from Maybelline and just apply that over the Clinique one. Then you want, you're going to want to put on any face powder that you're going to use once you want your um, foundation to stay on all day, which I did my foundation before I did this video, so, oof, I'm all over. I'm using this Clinique, um, Clinique CoverGirl 
powder in 105 ivory. Okay. I'm going to be using this my brush. This Kabuki brush from Ulta. I'm just going to apply that all over my face. So now we're going to do the blush. And for her blush, I'm going to be using this Maybelline. Um, my Mineral Power. Yes, yeah, my Maybelline, and it's naturally the most blush and true peach. Any peachy blush will work fine. And you're only going to want to take a little bit. And then you're going to put it on just right in this area. Okay. You're going to want to curl your eyelashes again. Once you have the falsies on, or when you're done with the mascara and it's done drying. So, and then for number 800 and Ferris Nude. She usually has a nude lip. Then, to finish it off, you're going to want to add some fangs. I have these ones from Scarecrow. And these I got a hot off of last one. And they have like putty in them. I one stays in the other one doesn't stay in, so. The only issue is these are kind of um, more yellow. My teeth are really white, so do it like this. So this is what the look would look like. And um, I'll be right back to show you the hair. Okay, now that your makeup's done, you're going to start your hair. If your hair is not long, because your hair is long, you're going to need some extensions or a wig, whatever you prefer. Um, my hair extensions are straight and my hair is just naturally dry because I'm going to be curling um, most of it anyway. So my top of my hair is pretty straight. So I don't have to worry about that. I'm not going to start it till about here. So her curls tend to start around here. So I may straighten my bangs, but I'm not sure yet. So you're going to need a... Make sure you spray your hair with heat protectant. I already did that before I put in the extensions, so, yep. Yeah. And then I'm using my Infinity Con by Conair Curling Wand at 400 degrees. You can use any curling iron you want. And for this, we're going to curl away from the face, and most of the curls, probably. And you're going to want to take about, sections about this big. And curl starting from here. Sorry, I had to put my memory card in, so we're going to start again. Take another section and make sure to grab some of your own hair, if you can. The section can be a little bigger. About this size should be fine.
then once you're done, I'm going to show you guys the whole thing. You don't want to just comb through it with your fingers. Not too much because her hair is pretty um, wavy. Finished look for her hair is going to look like this. And it'll look a little bit different if you have a middle part, but not too different. So if you um, want to try to train your hair for a middle part for this, um, if you're going to be Catherine for Halloween, you can. Otherwise, you can just do it like I did. Um, it's a slight middle part, but to the sides a little bit. It's like this. I'm going to show you guys the back. So I'll be right back with um, her clothing style. I'm going to try my best to fit it in the frame because um, I usually do on my webcam. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the finished look. I'm going to try to talk of these in. Good look. Hair. Then I'm going to show you the clothing. I'm wearing this pendant. Um, it's a long pendant, but I pulled it up for this video. It looks like this. You're going to want some, like, she always likes pendant necklaces, and this is a Victorian-style one, even though it wouldn't be a modern-day Catherine. Not Victorian Catherine, because it would be completely different. Um, the shoes. I'm going to wear the Forever 21 um, combat booties that I have, because I think they're very edgy in Catherine. And for clothing, you're going to want to wear all black or very dark colors. She always wears black pants, almost always. I've seen her with a purple top before, a very dark purple, but I prefer her all black look. I'm just going to show you. I'm wearing this black ruffly shirt. It's got like crochet. Let's see if I can show you guys. And then this leather jacket is just cropped. That was very Catherine-esque. And then I'm wearing black skinny jeans. And then I'll be wearing those um, combat booties. But I'm going to take pictures for you guys because um, I know you can't see the whole outfit like this. I'm sorry. So, yeah. Um. Okay. Um, seems like it's kind of working. So I'm going to show you guys a quick view of my webcam. I have some pictures too. So...